Hello everyone, I hope you're all well. I'm here today to film a bit of a different video for me. I'm sure you can see by the title and I'm really excited. I'm even standing up for this video so I can really be in motion and um, I have to first start off this video by saying a few things. First of all, thank you so much to everyone who requested this video because I'm really excited to film it. I want to first say that this video is in no way going to be like any way sexy or it's not kind of like that. I'm just making this video to be informative. I'm here basically just to give you guys some tips on how I deal with bras. It's not any way kind of going to be me showing moves. So if you're into that kind of thing, this is not the video for you. So that's the first thing. The second thing is, excuse my croaky frog voice. I have been sick now. I want to say it's been probably near enough 10 days. I still feel not right and when I hear myself speak, I'm more conscious about how bad I sound, but I lost my voice pretty much for like four days, five days. I even had to take time off work, which I hate doing. Um, I've just been really, really sick. I just basically had some kind of viral thing, um, but it's kind of going. I finally had a good night's sleep um, last night, but I still sound horrific. So I'm really sorry about that. But trust me, it's better than when I tried to film this video a few days ago and I couldn't put it up because I was just coughing and coughing and coughing. Second of all, thank you so much to everyone who entered my sunglasses little giveaway thing. Um, the winner, I will just put your handle here and I want to say congratulations. I will message you on Instagram, so congratulations. And if you don't get back to me within a week, I will have to choose someone else. I'm sorry, that's just how these things are. So please look at your DMs and yeah, thank you so much for um, entering. Let's talk about bras. So guys, there is obviously anyone who's been watching me for ages knows that I am a slightly bigger chested girl. I have been slightly, I'm a, I'm a larger chested girl. On YouTube and on Instagram, you see so many hacks on um, videos for girls with smaller boobs. And this is a video on kind of how I try and make my, I don't want to sit here and say I try and minimize my chest, but I want to look more in proportion. I am your, listen, you cannot get more hourglass than me, guys. Like, I am your typical hourglass shape. I literally just go like this. Um, and I just feel like sometimes, if my chest is the emphasis, I look bigger. So even like in a top like this, I have to kind of be very smart about how I wear it because otherwise, like even from the side, it's probably not the most flattering thing on me, but I like it, but it makes me look bigger. So I always have to try and use measures to kind of make me look a bit more shapely. So my favorite, favorite, favorite all time bra, and I don't want to again say to minimize, but to put myself more into proportion, is a t-shirt bra, but it's a very specific t-shirt bra that I'm going to show you guys on my little um, stand that I bought. Let me know if you guys want me to do more standing up videos and whether you like them as well. So for me, um, this video is not going to be about pretty bras, you can see on my little thing here, there you go. Um, all these bras are neutral. If I'm going to get a practical bra, it's going to be in a neutral color because it's something I'm going to wear all the time. So we're not talking pretty sexy bras here guys, we're talking practical. And my favourite shop to buy practical bras from is good old, if you live in the UK, Marks and Spencers. Listen, I tried Victoria's Secret, I've tried, was it La Senza when they used to be La Senza? I've tried Le Beau, Le Beau, I know there's that shop. Primark, but the best one is M&S. I don't know what it is, they're just perfect, I've even tried ASOS. Um, but these are the best. And this is a classic t-shirt bra, but it is amazing. If you have, um, like I said, a larger chest and you just, so for example, today I'm wearing a low cut top. Um, I was also going to like, I was thinking about, I feel like I'm just swinging my bra around. I was thinking about um, like trying these bras on and then putting a t-shirt on over, but I really don't want this video to be like an emphasis on what, do you know what I mean? On me, I just kind of want it to be like tips, so I'm sorry, I'm not gonna be trying any of these things on, um, but you can go and have a look at them in store and obviously try them on. So the best thing about this bra, I've had this for years, I have it in multiple colors. Um, I would say I am true to size in this bra and maybe I even sometimes go a size little bit up. And that's only because I don't like it when bras dig into my boobs. I, this is again probably TMI, but I feel like every woman has one boob that's a little bit bigger than the other. Um, and I always struggle with that, so, um, yeah, I, I, guys, listen, I, not, I don't really care. We're talking about anatomy here. It's not anything big. Um, but these are amazing because they're really, really thin. Can you guys see? And it's really stretchy. There's no padding in this bra whatsoever. If anything, like when you're in the cold, so like in the winter months, you have to be careful because you, you might get some something perking up. So it's quite thin. So I do think like 
you know, it's not the prettiest thing on uh, by any means or stretch of the imagination, but it's my favorite bra. I pretty much wear it every day. I rotate these all the time. I've got this one, I'm wearing the cream one right now. So if you wanted to think about what it looks like on me. So as I said, I'll get onto it in a second, but I've got it in so many different colors. Um, and I think they're around the 20 pound mark, 25 pounds. I haven't bought one in so long, but anything I talk about, I will try and list down below. And if I can't, I will write, like, look at it in Marks and Spencer's or whatever. So, yeah, perfect bra. It's just your average, like, back thing um, bra. I don't know what this is called. But as soon as I'm wearing it, I just want to, like, emphasize. I don't like to look uber cleavage -y, So, for me, this bra is great because it just kind of makes me feel, like, natural. Like, I'm not really, like, whoa. I still feel like... You know, even in a top like this that is quite low cut, I could definitely wear another bra to make me look a bit more, you know, to make my chest look a bit more chesty, but it's not really the vibes that I'm going for. So I love this bra. So even if I do this, you guys can see, like it's really flattering. Again, I don't want to make this um, all about me, but it's so flattering. It's quite seamless as well. Can you guys see? Um, like the seams, I'm wearing a really, really thin to body from... Zara and it's just so flattering um, and yeah it just doesn't like clump my boobs together and stuff which is not really a look that I love all the time. I've done it but it's not for me like day to day. Um, so I love this. You can see from the side as well. It just, I feel like it just, I don't know, it's just flattering. I can't really explain it. Um, it doesn't push them up. It doesn't do anything cleavage wise. It just kind of lets them sit and behave. <laughs> so that's why I like it. Next bra, if I am going to wear a like bra day to day, again, this is so not the prettiest, guys, so don't judge. They do, most of them look horrific. Is another t-shirt bra. This is definitely um, a bra that I would wear more if I want a bit more of cleavage, because this is a little bit more padded, and it is going to basically give you a bit, a bit more of a lift, but without padding, just because it's more structured than the one I'm wearing now. So, for example, right now, if I, for example, I was going to wear something like this in the evening, I might wear this bra if I want my boobs to be like, Hi, but if I'm not, um, hi, um, hi, me and Selena's thing is like, hi, we're just wherever we go, we're like, hi, really annoying, really obnoxious. Um, so yeah, if I want my boobs to be like, hi, then um, I would wear something more like this. It's still not going to make them look really cleavage -y. it's not going to kind of like bunch them together. Um, and it's, do you know what I mean? It's just going to make them look a bit more perky. Again, from m &S, super ugly. Um, super boring, definitely not sexy. I don't, I don't know how to slide. I do have nice underwear, but I just hardly ever wear it. Um, and it's just one of those basic bras. Really good, again, true to size. I would say, guys, you need to get your sizing right in different stores. So, for example, I remember when I went to America, um, Victoria's Secret has different sizing to, like, UK sizing. So I know they do, like, triple Ds and stuff like that. Um, and just different stores and different shops are going to have different sizing. So bear that in mind when you're choosing your bras. But definitely get measured. Get measured a few different places. I vary in measurements depending on my weight. Definitely bear that in mind. Now we're going to move on to a bra that I don't typically wear but I have. Um, again, this is, uh, I was talking about Victoria's Secret. This is the kind of bra that I literally, I don't even know if I've ever worn this bra. Like that's bad. But I've, I've bought three of them because... You know, you're like, oh my god, Victoria's Secret, Victoria's Secret. I remember I went to America and I just literally went ham in Victoria's Secret. But nothing was supportive, like, enough for me to be able to wear it day to day. Nothing really fit me really well like those do. These are the kind of bras that I just don't really wear day to day um, because they are too much for me personally. But if you have a smaller chest or if you personally just like that look, like a cleavage look, you need a push-up bra like this that has padding, so this has padding at the bottom, I can literally feel it, um, not so much at the top. This is going to give you a bit more of a push up. This isn't even as push up as you can go, but I just steer clear of that because I don't need it, so um, I, don't, I don't look for it, but these are the kind of bras that I don't go for, but I wish I could wear because they're so much prettier. They make your boobs look amazing, but it's just not the kind of look I'm going for. If any of you guys watch, um, I'm just like flinging it over there. Um, if any of you guys watch the um, the Real Housewives of Cheshire, um, anyone who's not from the UK, you might not watch it, but it's basically like the Real Housewives, but it's a um, county in the UK called Cheshire. And um, there's a lady on there called Stacey, and then there's a few other ladies on there like called Esther, 
um, what's the other girl name? Tanya. Um, and Stacy is a lady, and she was having a go at um, Stacy for having her boobs out in a vulgar way, which I didn't really like because I feel like as women we just all need to support each other. She likes to wear her boobs more like this as opposed to you. Listen, like, do you is what I'm trying to say. But that's like, I, I don't want to side with Stacy, but um, I go more for a Stacy kind of look when I'm wearing. Um, a bra as opposed to a Tanya or Esther kind of look. But it's totally up to you what you do. Um, but if you wanna go and like get the vibe that I'm going for, that's the vibe I'm going for. These are more like helpful bras. So we're gonna talk about a bandeau bra. I don't think I can wear a bandeau bra comfortably. I never feel 100% comfortable in a bandeau. My boobs are real, like they, they don't stay where they need to stay. You know, they're like real boobs, so unfortunately it's hard, especially when you've got a larger chest, to keep your boobs in a bra. So a bandeau like this is not my first choice, but I do own one, and if I had to wear any, this is the one. It's from Weekday. Um, I'll just show you. It's from Weekday at ASOS. They had this, and it sold out, but I was linking it, and I know some of you guys were able to buy it. So I will link it down below, but I'll try and link similar things. The reason I love it, and the reason I would say if you're trying to get one of these, Get one that's really nice and stretchy, so that's why I liked this one, is because it's got a really good stretch to it, and it's also got a nice band at the bottom, so it stays a little bit better. And just for reference, I got this in a size small. Um, I do have quite a small waist, um, but I fit this fine. It's just not very supportive. But if I'm wearing something um, that already has a bit of support, like a, back, like a jumpsuit or something, I just need something to give me a little bit extra hold. This is what I like this for, um, and I've worn it so much that it's gone all like bobbly and stuff in the wash, it's really annoying. But um, I will try and link this down below if I can find it. And um, I hate, and I will just, pre like, I'm sorry about this, because I, I don't like bashing, like, things, but I hate, as a bigger chested girl, these kind of um, strapless bras. I hate them. I just think they do nothing. Can you guys see, this is, I think this is called a balconette bra? Oh, I can't think now. I got that wrong. I remembered it and I forgot. But I don't like these kind of bras. These kind of bras that kind of cup almost. I don't like them at all. Um, I don't find that they are flattering on me. Um, this is a good bra because it's like a multi-way. You can do like different things with the straps. I've had this for so long. I don't even know where the straps are. It's so hideous to look at. I can't even get over it. Um, but I don't like these kind of bras. I will show you guys my favorite strapless bra, but I would say if you're bigger chested, stay away from these because I just feel like they just fall down. Um, this has a mechanism, mechanism, it's got like, you know that stuff that, um, it's kind of like a plasticky thing that will try and stick to your body, it still doesn't do anything. And I just feel like whenever I wear something like this, I'm constantly hooking it up. I think I wore something like this for my prom, and I just remember like, it wasn't this exact one, but I was just faffing with it the whole night. And this is actually from a really good brand, it's from a brand called Freya, they're like, I think they do quite good underwear, but I just, I just, I don't, I don't like that bra at all. Um, if I had anyone I could give it to, I would, but I don't. Um, but my favourite, 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 favourite bra of all time that is um, strapless is Wonder Bra. I'm sure you guys have heard of this brand, but they do these kind of bras. Um, they are known for this like technology, again, I technology where the cup is kind of like fingerprint mask, can you guys see? So it's almost like it's holding you. Um, I don't know how much I believe in that, I just really like the overall look of it and how it holds you. The only thing I would say about this bra, A, it's expensive, um, but I've had this for oh, four years, like I have had this bra for ages. It is like a little bit worn, but not really any way, like not so much that I need to go and change it basically. But this really does hold you. I've worn this out, I've worn this clubbing, I've worn this like with jumpsuits, dresses, I've worn this so much. The only thing is, which I'm sure you guys can probably see, this has so much like surface area to it. So if you're wearing quite like a, you know, like a, a sort of strappy top um, or a strappy jumpsuit that's quite thin, you're going to see this through it, which is really, really annoying because it's such a good... Um, my top is really funky today, so if I look a bit weird, and if I'm like trying to adjust it, that's why. Um, but I really like this top, it's from Zara. Um, surprise, surprise. So yeah, that's the only thing, can you guys see, like, in terms of surface area, like, 
especially like sometimes when I used to want to wear like a crop top, this bit shows quite a lot because can you guys see it goes quite low down. So although it's really good at um, its job of being a strapless bra, it just, it's got quite a lot of surface area to it and it just means that, you know, you're not, you can't wear everything with it because it might be a bit too thick. I also have it in the nude. Um, they do these on ASOS. I will link them down below. They've got so many sizes. I would say probably go true to size. What size do I have? Yeah, maybe even a size up because you want it to really hold. And if you guys have, please, 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 I want down below to be like, us all talking to each other. If you guys have any recommendations on bras, please tell me down below because I'm constantly looking for like good um, alternatives and stuff like that. There is nothing I have found that I ever wear day to day more than the one I'm wearing now. Like I love this bra more than anything. And then um, lastly, I've got two things that I wanna show you guys. I've got something else in the cupboard. This is another Wonder Bra piece that I want to recommend, but I probably wouldn't recommend it to every single person because I do think it's a little bit hard, it's a bit of a hard thing because again, can you guys see how much surface area there is to this? This is a um, plunge bra and it's from Wonder Bra. I've worn this quite a few times. It was really helpful, especially when um, a few years ago I used to go out quite a lot and wear like a lot of um, plunging dresses. I don't really do that often anymore. I just went through a phase, but I don't, I don't often wear stuff like that um, anymore. But if, especially for someone like me who, you know, shows a lot of clothes, these things are great because I take photos and do stuff like that. Um, but I don't know whether or not I feel 100% comfortable in these anymore. I never had a slip up, but I don't know. I don't know how I would feel nowadays. Maybe just because I'm older and scared. Uh, I don't know. Um, but it is a plunge bra. It's great. If, if you have a smaller chest, I think this would be amazing because... Yeah, I can imagine it being really, really secure. Um, I would say go size up on this. I do, when I last filmed this video, before when I was sick, um, I do remember I have this in a smaller size. If I ever did need it again, I would probably get it in a bigger size and it might be a bit more supportive. But it is really good because it's like multi-way. You can take the straps off, you can make it strapless. But again, the problem with these is, look how much surface area. If you're wearing a really, really like, slinky little dress, it's going to show. So... That's the only thing that I would say with that. And lastly, I love this throwing thing, it's really fun. I got these from Pretty Little Thing, I think. I don't know if they're doing them anymore, but I will try and find them. Um, these are called the Perky Pair. They're basically tip tape, <laughs> um, but it like hoistens, hoistens you up. Again, I have worn these for photos and I've worn these in um, videos and stuff, but I've never tried these out, so I cannot I don't know, I'm just not brave enough. I don't know if um, they're good. So if you guys have tried them, let me know. But um, they are basically in a pear shape and you basically stick them like this to hold your boobs up. These things are so sticky, like so sticky. Follow the instructions to a T, otherwise you will hurt yourself. Like that's how sticky they are. Um, I don't wanna undo it because I, I'm, I wanna use them. Not today, but in case I need to use them for a video again. But they are great. These are the kind of thing like um, the Kardashians and all those Instagrammers wear to basically make their boobs look amazing, and they really do. The only thing is the same kind of thing. If you've got bigger boobs, they're gonna be harder to keep in place because they're heavier and bigger. So bear that in mind. They come in sizes, so that's why mine look ginormous. Um, but they're really good. Like if you are an Instagrammer or if you take photos or if you just are going to a dinner and you want your boobs to look nice, I don't know how they'd hold up clubbing, but if you're not gonna be like, you know, moving up and down and like jumping up around, then they're good. But um, let me know down below what you think. So that's my video, you guys. I hope you guys have enjoyed it and had a laugh with me. Those are my little bra tips and tricks. My basic thing is just find a bra that you love, buy it in loads of sizes, and um, that, that's probably the only tip that I can give, really. I will see you guys all in my next video. I love you guys lots. Take care. Bye.